Good evening again. We're going to be talking about a very important part of our body now. It's our heart. No wonder the proverb says, keep the heart with all diligence because out of it are the issues of life. So that's two things we're talking about there, the heart and the issues of life. The issues of life, of course, is the blood. And the heart loves it when the blood is nice and thin. And we don't need to thin the blood with rat poison. I mean, wolfrin. <laughs> And we don't need to thin the blood with aspirin because the most recent research out shows that it causes brain bleeds. And what are brain bleeds? There's a big contributing factor to Alzheimer's. No, there are ways to keep the blood thin. So let's begin by looking at blood thinners. And I'll tell you a story to illustrate. <coughs> I had a man ring me up and he was 45. He said, Barbara, he said, I'm wondering if you can help me. I'm on warfarin. Because you know warfarin is rat poison and it causes the rats to bleed to death. But they don't give human beings quite so much to cause them to bleed to death. But watch out if you cut yourself because it's very hard to stop bleeding. And an, a doctor will never operate on you while, you've got, you're, while you're on warfarin because you'll bleed to death on the table. Bit scary, isn't it? He said, I'm on Wolfrin and it's just knocking me about, something terrible. I said, why have they got you on Wolfrin? He said, I've, well, I've, I've got a clot in my leg. I said, what happened? See, you've always got to put the detective hat on. He said, well, I was playing tennis and I moved a certain way and my muscle tore. And he said, it was painful for days. I eventually went to the doctor. He did a scan and there was a clot there. And the doctor said... We've just discovered you've got a clotting disease. And he said, well, if I've got a clotting disease, won't clots be everywhere? Well, they did a full scan on and there was only a clot there. You know who I think the clot is. But, you know, there are good plumbers, bad plumbers, good painters, not so good painters. And it's same in every profession. There are some very good doctors, absolutely. So you just got to search, it, search out the good ones like you do with anything you do in your house and especially in this house. Yes. I said to him, tell me, the, tell me what happened around this because you don't just twist your leg and your muscle <laughs> tears and you get a clot. Well, he said, I wasn't drinking any water and I was having two quarts of uh, Coca-Cola a day and I was having three coffees a day and I was working 14 hour days and I wasn't eating very well and I was drinking too much alcohol at night. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you see cell integrity was, was drastically diminished so when he twisted a certain way, the cells just couldn't hold it together and his blood was already so clumped from all of those things it just clumped in one section there. And now the doctor had him on warfarin. He said, I've been to the health food shop. He said, I'm drinking water now. And he said, I'm not having any Coke. I've stopped the alcohol. He said, I've stopped all the, the caffeine. I said, great. He said, how can I keep the blood thin? So this is what I told him. He had to have two to two and a half quarts of water a day. I said, if you're working on the job site and you're perspiring a lot, you might need to have to get up to three. And I said, and the Celtic salt. Now, Celtic salt contains 82 minerals. And those minerals help to get the water inside the cell to help to hydrate your... I'll give you the whole story on that in a minute, but first of all, I want, I want to finish the story of Tom. We'll call him Tom. And then I said, cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is a remarkable herb. It opens up the blood vessels. It thins the blood. It can even repair damaged arterial walls. So he was having cayenne pepper. Well, this is what I advised. I said, start with a quarter of a teaspoon in a little bit of water three times a day. I said, as you get used to it, you can get up to half a teaspoon. Garlic. Have it in your food. Have it on everything. Ginger. 
You can finely grate the ginger, pour boiling water on it and drink it as a tea. I said every time your wife cooks a stir fry or... Yep, ginger and omega-3. Omega-3 is a blood thinner. And the best sources are your ground flax, your chia and your walnuts. So he began to implement that. He rang me up a week later. He said, do you think I could stop the woofer? And he said, it's knocking me around something terrible. The side effects are terrible. I can't work properly and I've got to work. He said, I can't sleep properly. I said, well, I can't tell you what to do. Only you or your doctor have authority over your medication. But I can tell you what I do and I don't usually have to tell people that. He said, do you think I'm safe? I said, if you're doing all that, that will keep the blood thin. You are safe. A week later, so now we're looking about three weeks since the clot was discovered, he went back to the doctor. He told the doctor he'd stopped the wolfram, the doctor hit the roof. See, the, most doctors, some doctors do, but most doctors don't know that. They've had not experience with that. And most doctors know that if the person doesn't do all that, if he were to keep eating the way he ate and drank, he'd need the wolfram. He said to the doctor, when the doctor had stopped yelling at him, just answer me one question, mate, because that's what we say in Australia. He said, will the wolfram break my clot down? Doctor was silent. Because do you know it won't? All it does is thin the blood. It does not break the clot down. The doctor looked down. He knew it won't break a clot down. And then the man said, I want to scan on that leg. And the doctor said, there is no way that clot would be gone in three weeks. The man said, if you don't do a scan, I'll go to someone who will. So the doctor did. The clot was gone. Mm-hmm. This not only thins the blood, it will also break down the clots. Psalm 104 verse 14, the Bible says, God gave herbs for the service of man. They're there to serve you. They're your best blood thinners. Now you could have five gallons of water, two cups of salt, two cups of cayenne pepper. You see what I'm saying? You could absolutely overload yourself with that and your blood would ne not get so thin you would bleed to death. Isn't that remarkable? Because of Psalm 104 verse 14. God, God gave herbs to, for the service of man. In fact, medicine calls it synergism. They work with the needs of the body. Herbs come in and say, where would you like me? What would you like me to do? Drugs come in and say, get out of my way, I've got a job to do whether you need it or not. Mm -hmm. And it is true, drugs have saved lives. I'm not disputing that. But we don't need them every day. And in the majority of cases, we can actually prevent ever having to go to the point where we have to get them. 